All right, hey guys, what's going on? Another video here on YouTube on my channel, Sparling Adventures. If you guys haven't already, go to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I guarantee you, you'll get some amazing content out of it that'll keep you entertained. Um, so yeah, so today's video is all about my top five things that you need as a beginning filmmaker. So these five things are something that you guys really should get and should have. And then on top of that, I'll give you one or two things that you eventually should uh, get after that. So you should have these five things and then these other two things are a side bonus thing that you eventually should work for. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so the very first thing that you guys need, obviously, when you are starting out a YouTube channel and starting to try to be a filmmaker, is a camera. Of course, right? We all know that. Whether it's an iPhone, a, a phone, or any kind of Android or iOS device camera, either a point and shoot or a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, it's up to you guys, but find something that works for you. Uh, I've heard of stories of people actually using their phones for a long time and it works for them. I have something like this. This could easily be used to film, but I just prefer to use my DSLR camera. Uh, yeah, so that's tip number one. You obviously need to find yourself a good camera and something that works for you. So yeah, so that's tip number one. All right, so tip number two, I would say, is audio. You need to have clear audio. Audio actually is one of the most important things that I would say that brings your, your consumers, your viewers in to watch more and more of your videos. So if you have crisp, clear audio, that is something that you really, really need to have. So if you have poor audio, everyone will just delete, they'll go away from your, your video and they'll go watch something else. So having clear, crisp audio is one of the huge things that you need. So number two is audio. So I use, and I'm gonna show you guys after what I use to film here, I use on top of this camera here is my Rode Video Mic Go. So it's perfect for beginning. It's uh, about $60, $70, uh, very, very perfect. I'll show you guys after. Uh, yeah, so that's tip number two is audio. You need to have clear, clear audio. All right, tip number three is to have some kind of editing platform. You need to have either you can edit on your phone through iMovie or some kind of program, Premiere Pro. There's the list goes on, right? Final Cut Pro, there's, there's so many different editing um, devices out there, but you need to have a laptop to do that or a desktop to do that. So that's tip number three. You need to have something that you can edit your videos in. So that's a huge plus. You have to have that. Otherwise, how do you, how do you make videos? How do you upload your videos to YouTube? You have to have some kind of device to do that. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, guys, and this is something that you really, really need. This is probably one of the best things that you probably would need in order to start filmmaking. And that is a tripod. Huge. You need a tripod, guys. I have two tripods, but if you start off with one, it is perfect. And I will show you after when I'm done filming this, you will see that I use two tripods in order to create videos. But when I'm outside, you only need one tripod. Well, you could use two, but you need a tripod. That is something that you really need. So this camera that I'm filming with right here is on a tripod, and that is something that you need in order to make things level, to make things balanced. It is huge. Um, yeah, so tripod is number four. Number five, I would say, would be lens. You really, really need a lens. So if you have a DSLR camera, obviously this doesn't really, well, yes, I guess it does say to iPhones or phones or Android devices, because you can get wide angle lenses or fisheye lenses on uh, your phone itself. But for DSLR cameras or mirrorless cameras, it is very, very, very important to find a good lens. So I use a 24 millimeter lens, Canon, I use a Canon camera, a 24 millimeter lens. It gives me that nice bokeh effect in the background. You can see it's blurred out. Um, yeah, so it's 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 nice to have a perfect lens, a nice wide angle lens. I would prefer for you guys, if you're starting out as a filmmaker, a nice wide angle lens is perfect. And then, um, yeah, and then eventually work your way up to a 70 millimeter lens or anything above and beyond that. 
The 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma lens is something that I highly recommend for you guys. That's something I'm in the works of trying to get. Uh, that's also a really, really good starting off lens as well. It's got f1.8, I believe, on it. So I can do another video on lenses. Um, but yeah, but this the basically a lens, guys. You need a good lens. Uh, have at least two lenses, I would say, to start off. That's what I have is two lenses. It's perfect. It's all you need. So yeah, that's tip number five. Tip number six. I would say guys would be if you're into it not everyone has it would to be a, to get a drone uh, I have a drone I have the spark DJI spark it's only 1080p now they've come out with 4k drones and that is something that I'm looking to get into to try to upgrade but it's funny how I just get a DJI spark drone and then boom all of a sudden it's gone from 1080p to 4k and now they actually have 8k coming in I don't even know what is going on with that so AK is in the works, but I just want to get to the 4K. So drone guys, if you are into that, get a drone. It's going to get you different levels of taking a look at your um, video and filmmaking. You can do different uh, shots, different uh, films, you know, from high above. You can get that awesome, awesome views from above. So drones would be tip number six bonus. I would say it's not needed right away. That's something that you can work on, especially if you're traveling. Uh, you would highly, I would highly recommend you get a drone if you're traveling. It, it worked out for me. It was awesome to be able to use a drone, especially in the middle of the Philippines using a drone high above. Whew, money. Tip number seven. Yeah, I guess this is kind of another bonus tip. Is tip number seven is lighting. So you can see I'm starting to get into better lighting now. Um, find something that works for you. There's all sorts of lighting techniques out there. Whether you want to use it on your camera or you can use it on the side here. I have two side um, lighting kits beside me here that really, really makes the face nice and white and, and gives that, that soft diffused light. You can use natural light to start off guys. That works too, but that's hard because if you're filming in an area where it doesn't have much windows or much natural light, um, that's very, very hard, especially if you need to film at nighttime. So yeah, so that would be tip number seven, I would say. And yeah, that's all you need guys in order to start filmmaking and in order to start making your videos more quality. You want to have better quality. That's what it's all about is people want to watch your videos that have good quality, good audio, good lighting, and basically have, you know, 1080p at least. You need to have 1080p at least. 4K is a new thing. That's something that I'm working on towards to get towards too. So yeah, that would be my tips. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm also going to show you a behind the scenes on how I film. Uh, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment below and let me know if you guys learned something from this video. I'm trying to do more of these awesome, awesome videos that are going to benefit you guys on how to become a better filmmaker. So yeah, so let's get to the behind the scenes. All right guys, so here's the behind the scenes look. So this is what I use on a daily basis. You can see here, I have my uh, laptop, my MacBook. I have my notes that I write down in order for my plan to plan my video. Uh, I have my nice little mouse and obviously some water on the side. And then I have this. So you can see here, um, this is what I film on my Canon EOS. Rebel SL2 which is very very beneficial and I film in manual mode because that's something that you definitely want to do as it adds more effects more blur and it's better than automatic if you guys can get into the manual mode that's something that you want to have so you can see my thing comes off every once in a while but I'm not actually filming on that but yes this is what I film on and then I have this set up beside behind here which is my Rode Video Mic Go. This is perfect. It's everything that I need, everything that has better crisp audio. Um, it's everything that I need. And then you can see here on the side, I use this. So I have some lighting kits that I use with the tripods. You know, right now this is just basic and it works for me. And I can set my, uh, my lighting to around 100 or 50. I like to put it to 50 because it has a little bit more softer light. So I have that set up on a tripod. Let's see if you guys can see it. There it is there. Set up on a tripod. And then I also have a second one over here. So for both sides, this is something that I like to have. So this is my second setup. 
Um, I will get into more details on if you guys are interested in this light setup. It's very cheap and it works for me. It's perfect. Uh, yeah, so that's it. And then obviously I have my fun. I have my nice little knife here that I use. I like to have this. It gets me some stress-free environments. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And then I have my Seagate. I use this portable device. That's something I didn't really mention in my video, but it's nice to have a backup. That's something that I would say as well would probably be tip number eight would be to get a portable device backup system. You need something like that. So yeah, that's it guys. That's literally my my uh, filming device in a nutshell. And then I also use this sometimes. This is the You Might Go. This is for better audio. If you're on travel or you're away, you can use this for better, better audio. You can interview people with this. It's very cheap. Um, so yeah, so this is my setup, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as you guys can see, it is nothing but snowing and crazy outside. So this is what I am dealing with on a daily basis and it's really cool. I love snow. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and hit the subscribe button. I love each and every one of you. Live, love, laugh, and definitely, definitely adventure. All right.